everybody. everybody. Carson's back. <laughs> Woo! Yay! We've had everyone's been saying they wanted you to come back. Here I am. Here he is. So we're here with the 25 days of paperback giveaway. We're doing two opens today. One for the 17th and one for the 18th. So it's one for yesterday and one for today. So there will be two winners in this video. So oh. make sure to watch until the end and we will give you instructions on how you can enter to win yes. this video. Yes. yes. We don't have many left, guys, because it's like what? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25. Why are we a present short? Can you recount that? So 17... 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We're missing a present, Carson. Did you take it? I know how much you love paper bags. <laughs> hmm. What are we going to do about that? Well, we're going to have to wrap another present. <gasps> I know what we could do, Carson. You know what we could do? What? We could do, I'll pick this up and you can close your eyes and shuffle through the box of books, books underneath here and pick a book out. Yes. And that'll be the first giveaway right here. Not there. These ones, there's a whole bunch of my books oh. in here. Okay. okay, are you gonna close your eyes though? Are you ready? Okay, Carson's just gonna shuffle in this box here. Let me show you. This is my book signing box, guys. All right, so he's gonna shuffle in here. Don't break my... Okay, let's talk this That one. was my rug burn, and she made it even more bad. Okay, so just rustle in there. You can see them by eyes. I can see right? them. Yeah. Which one do you want? This one. You want that one? Whoa. Deep. Ah! Oh my gosh, you guys! So, do I have this? this I know what you gotta write in the chat. No, just wait, because this is. You guys, this is. Shh! Get it. Carson picked, he went into my book signing books below. Thank you, Carson. And he picked out a Lakeshore Love book, but this is one of my, he picked out a Lakeshore Love book, but this is not my right now cover. Look at it, guys. This is awesome. This is the older cover. Can you guys see it? I hate that light around it. Like, this is one, this is one I had, like, can you guys see right here? Like I had all of them done up in these different covers. Do you want to see them? Okay, I'll show you. Okay, so this was my first ever cover. Are you ready? And I picked out this picture and I picked out the background. And then, yeah, so this was my Lakeshore Secrets. That was the first one. Wow, you guys, like, I don't have very many of these. I don't even like to give them away. You are lucky. That's my Lakeshore Legend. That's Peyton and Cole's. Right? It's the like the black and the red, black and white picture with red writing. Okay, and then Lakeshore Love. This is the one I'm gonna be giving away. This is Sydney and Jake. Oh Sydney and Jake. I will tell you about them in one second. And then I'm just gonna show you them all because they're so pretty. And you won't have seen them unless you these are like 2015 covers. 2015, so my Lakeshore Candy. That's Abby and Riley. All right. <gasps> I even have, I even have Candy Crumble in this series. So this is Candy Crumble. And I did it in color because it was a novella. See, it's a little small novella. It's with um, Riley and Abby. And it was like a prequel because everyone loved them. And I just felt like I had written almost all of these chapters I had written already and then I um I gave it to my secret sisters it's like a present at Christmas and then I just published it because everyone wanted it and here's the last one in that series I actually love this couple Lakeshore Lyrics that was CC and Avery okay so those are my uh, like original first covers well you guys are so lucky that he picked this one out because literally you can't get this one this is my first cover for these 
Lakeshore Love. So I'll tell you quickly about this. I don't have much time. I've already spent six minutes. This might even get cut out. Okay, so Sydney and Jake, quick story about them. Um, I'm gonna read the blurb. Jake Stowe is a runner, but Sydney loves him anyway. He ran out of Sydney's life years ago, but is back now and she cannot contain the feelings she has for him. When Jake finally confides he has similar feelings for her, Sydney gives in to the spark. Although she fears he'll run again, she is powerless to the passion between them. Will the secrets he refuses to divulge continue to keep them apart, or will their love overcome the, my the, mysteries, the mysteries he keeps hidden? It's a chance Sydney is willing to take, but will Jake commit finally to her, or will he run like, the, like he has before? I'm going to tell you this, but... I might sound goofy or silly, I don't know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you that. Okay. Okay, so, does anybody remember the Gilmore Girls? Okay, you do, I know you do, I know you're watching them, and you're a huge fan like me, so I have been writing, oh my goodness, I am, people are not supposed to tell their ages, but I'm 39, and I have been writing since, like, 13, 12 like seriously writing big huge novels so I started writing um like like R.L. Stein novels so like Christopher Pike you know like ooh mystery and stuff but then when we were in an antique mall there was a little nook in the corner this is my this is my book story and um there was romance and I picked up my first romance and I was like I was hooked I was hooked and the I read all the romances there and then I was like buy more so anyway okay so romance <laughs> I don't know how I got so off there. Jake and Sydney. Okay, so I used to write a lot when I was little. That's what I was saying. And um, I wrote, okay, so the Gilmore Girls was on TV, right? And every time you watch the Gilmore Girls, you wanted Luke and Lorelai to get together, right? And so I kind of, sort of like, I wrote, I wrote this book, not this one, but I wrote a book like this and it was the same characters. It was Sydney and Jake. <laughs> obviously they weren't called Sydney and Jake anyway and it was just like it was inspired by them basically like you know like Jake has like he has a bar you know and he and Sydney has and spoiler alert I'm not gonna tell you Sydney and her daughter and at the end you'll see the ending and it was kind of fun but like honestly like that whole like small town I think um Gilmore Girls small town thing it really it was part of 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 this book the small town aspects and just like them, I think I just got inspiration off them and it was just, yeah, it was, I guess it was fan fiction at the time when I did it. So I had this thought and I had this thing and I wrote them all and of course when the time came to write their story, I didn't have the story I wrote. I don't know where it is, under my bed or something, but the idea was still like, I was like this whole thing. It was just, it was lots of fun. If you read it, you'll, you'll under, you'll, you read it and you think like, yeah, kind of, but not because obviously like Jake has the rich mother, stepmother, and like, she's fun, and it's just, it's different, but it was, yeah, that's what it, that's what it came from. I don't know if that makes me weird, but that's, that's where these characters were inspired or developed by, and I don't do that anymore. I don't get inspiration from characters anymore. That was just because I was so little when I originally wrote that one. Okay, we gotta do the next book, because I, okay, so, one lucky winner is gonna get the original Thanks for love, and I'm just gonna start from the top, people. It's the puppy dog paper. I'm peeking so I can see which one it is. <gasps> it's one of my lovely author friends, guys. You want me jealous? Are you ready? <gasps> I know. I know. Sam Seabrook, you're screaming in your chairs, aren't you? You're like, how do I get my hands on torment? Look at the cover! Let me look at the cover. A Savages and Saints novel, Torment by C.M. Seabrook. Who's excited? I am. Six, let's read the blurb. Six years he's been gone, and then he falls straight into my bed, literally. And I know my torment is only beginning. He left me, he abandoned me. Where he, is he? I don't know, in his room, he did just one video and then he was out. I waited my whole life for Z St. James to open his eyes and see me, but Port Clover's official bad boy would never view me as anything more than his best friend's little sister. 
He shattered my heart into thousands of pieces when he left, and I spent years trying to forget him, trying to banish the memory of that one kiss. I thought I'd moved on. But when he comes crashing back into my life, or rather my apartment, the one he still owns, I'm defenseless against him. Just when I think I might finally get my happily ever after, a web of secrets and betrayal threaten to unravel the hope I finally found in his arms. And I'm faced with the soul-bearing question, is loving Z worth the torment he inflicts? Oh, you guys, sounds amazing. Thank you so much, Sam Seabrook, for giving us a signed paperback. Isn't our signature pretty? Happy reading, XO, Sam Seabrook. Would you like a peek at the book? Ooh. All right. Who's excited? Yes, day 17 and 18. Two books I've unwrapped for the giveaway. Lakeshore Love, my book with the original cover. It's beautiful. Yes. Oh, let me show you the back. So pretty. And C.M. Seabrook's Torment. Rock star. Looks like a rock star romance. Oh, look at it. I love C.M. Seabrook's thing there. There we go. All right, guys. So, Carson has picked the word. What you gotta write in the chat is L-O-V-E, love, because that's what it says on the book. Okay, so it is loves. To enter this giveaway, I will be giving, we are getting two winners. One will get Lakeshore Love and one will get Torment. So what you have to do is like this video and comment with the word love in the comments below. And I will randomly draw two winners. And if you're not sure um, how to find out who the winner is, how it works is I put the gra the winner graphics go on my Instagram and on my Facebook. I also comment on the YouTube comment of the winner on the video. So when you see the graphic, if it says day 16, you go look up video 16, go down the comments, find your comment and see if that, if you are the winner, that's how you do it. It's that easy. Okay. So that's it for tonight, guys. Here we are. I'm pretty excited about these. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I've had so much fun doing this, so I really hope to continue this. Like, maybe like once a month even. It's been like a blast, so. Yeah, and I might do more videos, people have asked me. All right, so you guys, so get over there and like this video and write love in the comments, and I will randomly be choosing two winners. So good luck, everyone. Have yourselves a great night. Bye.